I'm Christina Mutchler reporting. The world's eyes are on North Korea, and there is a Milwaukee man with a perspective very few Americans have. Last summer, he spent a week over there. He shared his stories and pictures with R.E.J. Biaport. But North Korea is a very rigid society. I've never seen anything like it, and I've been to about 60 countries. John Nye, a retired history and geography teacher, says he jumped at the chance last summer when he found a travel agency in suburban Chicago offering a week-long trip to North Korea. And the only way into North Korea is on a tour. There's no individual travel allowed. So once you get into North Korea, you have to check in your cell phones. You're given a receipt. Nye says two of the things that jumped out at him were violent pieces of propaganda and the expressions, or lack thereof, on the faces he saw. And there's no individualism. Nobody seemed to smile, and they just kind of walked around like they're in a daze. While in the capital city of Pinyang, Nye also attended the Ariane Games, something he says compares to nothing he'd ever seen before. The Ariane Games, uh, no government could arrange a performance like this other than the North Koreans to put this many people together, put on that performance. Nye says that loyalty to the government is driven by fear and isolation. It's, it's strange because these people look at these leaders as the deity, they're gods, godlike figures. And they don't know any better because they're closed off from the outside world. They have no idea what's out there. Because of that isolation, Nye believes it's impossible to know what North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, will do next. It's just hard to predict what they may do because they're, they're caught in a corner right now because the country is hungry, they have no fuel, no electricity. And when someone is caught backed into a corner, they may react. Nye says he's not worried about any repercussions for sharing stories from his trip to North Korea. He says it's almost certain that he won't be allowed back into the country, but he says he's okay with that. But what bothers him the most is knowing that he won't be able to keep in touch with his tour guides with whom he spent that entire week. Mike, Mary? Well, police officers, thank you, AJ. Police officers.